guys, if you are still having trouble finding Pokemon card products like me, this is how you find Pokemon cards in one single step. Step number one is visit your local card shop. And just like that, you are welcomed with a ton of Pokemon singles and also various products that you can purchase for yourself. Enjoy. And just like that, guys, we are back at the studio and you know you went to a local card shop when you have a black bag that looks like this. It just screams local. So guys, in today's video, I went ahead and basically visit my local card shop for some Pokemon cards. And the first thing I came out with is a Flareon V10. And I know I recently opened up this 10, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the Vaporeon tin was almost sold out, the Jolteon tin was completely sold out, and the Flareon tin, there was just so many of them, I felt bad looking at Flareon, nobody wanted it. So I went ahead and copped one for today's video, and also, if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button right now, and if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, and join the Go Army, and welcome and guys like i said if you could not find pokemon cards like me because i live in a state where scalpers is a huge thing you feel me so i can literally not find any pokemon cards in targets walmarts best buy you name it there's none but y'all let me go ahead and open up this tin all right so first things first we got ourselves the code card for the ghoul army we got the start of the show because the next card is the ultra rare Flareon V and it is probably the best out of the three. Obviously, I don't know value wise, but I do know artwork wise, I do prefer the Flareon. So let's go ahead and put that as the card of the show. And then we got four boosters right here. We got Evolving Skies. So we're going to go ahead. Let's start with Battle Styles, you feel me? Because I feel like Battle Styles is like the XY Fates Collide and Steam Siege of Sword and Shield, you feel me? I don't know what it is, but I just don't really mess with Battle Styles like that, bro. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. So we got the Lickitung. We got the Yamper. Scatterbug. And we have the Boltund regular rare so now we're moving on to sword and shield base which is actually a set i do not mind it's like sun and moon base i don't care for it but i don't mind opening it at the same time you feel me so we got ourselves a ball toy we got a grookey a yamper yet again followed by a secret rare zassion b everybody look at that that right there is a sight to see indeed. And I'm actually out of sleeves, so I had to crack open the Evolution sleeves right there. So guys, look at this almighty pool right here. Great way to start off this video with a secret rare V card, guys. Absolutely amazing. We got Chillin' Rain up next, and basically the goal for today's video, guys, is to pull one Ultra Rare per product that I open up. So let's say I open up three collection boxes. I want to at least pull one Ultra Rare, and I just basically expose this whole pack. I need to hold the cards a lot better. I don't know what it is, but I just can't grip the cards properly. But as I was saying, guys, the goal in today's video is to get one Ultra Rare pool per product. I'm going to leave it at that. You feel me? So let's get it, man. We got ourselves a Metal Energy. We got a Dream Ball. And this is Evolving Skies. So y'all know I have a ton of chase cards within this set. We got the Drampa. Followed by the Trevenant VMAX Ultra Rare. So we got two bangers within this Flareon tin. 
that right there alone is absolutely amazing oh my gosh did i just spent that card i almost did i'm, I'm pretty sure i kind of did but we're gonna go ahead and pretend that y'all didn't see that so we're gonna go ahead and put that card onto the pile and let's move on to product number two so the next product is actually an underwhelming product and it is the shadow rider v box basically that features chill and rain and other various sets Alrighty, guys and just like that i got everything out of the box here is the code card and then here is the beautiful promo card that you get from the box itself and then you also get a jumbo version of that card and also i do want to take back one thing i said this isn't an underwhelming product because luckily enough there is no battle styles and i actually like that we have chill and rain rebel clash another chill and rain and darkness ablaze so we're gonna go ahead and start things off with rebel clash and i honestly thought that battle styles was in this set that's why i said it was an underwhelming product but now that i know it's not then this product definitely gets a thumbs up you feel me so let's check out the first booster guys and let's see what we get we got ourselves a trubbish followed by a double v ultra rare every time i see that double v it just reminds me of champion's path bro because champion's path if you know you know let's just say it was filled with those white sheep 100 percent so second pack guys we got the fog crystal we got the shuppets we got the cast form we got the bonnets and we have the sazbuck regular rare so we already got our first ultra from this product but can we get an ultra that's better than a double v because let's be honest anything is better than a double v so we got ourselves a water energy or it can be ice it could be both you feel me when it comes to the tcg so we got the quillfish we got the crushing gloves followed by a blissey v ultra rare so we're actually getting a lot of ultra rares in today's video but this right here is the final pack and it actually has a chance at having a charizard within this pack so let's see guys we got the fighting energy we got the rose tower we got the fletchling pansage skarmory and we got ourselves a regular rare we did at least get two bangers but guys that leaves us with our final product and it's actually a good one and when i say good i'm not exaggerating because it is a sealed box of none other than shining fates everybody featuring the pikachu v Alrighty, guys so i got this box opened and the first thing that we see is none other than the pikachu v absolutely beautiful card here is the code card to redeem that very same pikachu and then we have four boosters of shining fates guys and i'm excited because there is actually a high chance that card right there will get replaced because there is a ton of bangers within this set so let's go ahead and start things off with the first booster pack y'all and let's get it man let's get these pulls baby i am hoping for anything because i'm actually still missing a lot of cards within this set so we got the ball guy we got the thwacky did I even say that name right? I feel like I butcher it every time. We got the Snom, Trap Pinch, Shiny Rowlet. So y'all know what this means. We have a chance at getting a double banger, everybody. We got the Shiny Rowlet in the cuts, followed by the Celebi Regular Rare. Okay, so we didn't get a double banger, but we at least got a little Shiny Boy right here to show for our pulls. So let me go ahead and sleeve that up and put it with the other pools now let's move on to shiny fates pack number two right off the rip we already have an ultra guys so that right there alone is amazing but let's see if we can keep the streak going we got the fighting energy and it feels so nice opening up shining fates bro because y'all know when this set came out everybody was scalping it like literally everybody was trying to resell it it was 
absolutely crazy. But we got ourselves the shiny Thwacky to go with our Rowlet. Am I even saying the name right, guys? Thwacky. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, but our Rowlet... Wait! Guys. Rowlet doesn't evolve into this Pokemon. That's Grookey. What is wrong with me, bro? Aside from that embarrassing moment, I legit just had a brain fart, bro. Like, literally, a huge brain fart. Let's go ahead and reveal our final card, and it is a Feeble Holographic. So let's go ahead and sleeve up this beautiful shiny. Apologies to the disrespect if anybody felt offended, because... That was terrible, bro. That was absolutely terrible. But we still got two packs left. And so far, we're on a winning streak. We have been getting a pull in every single pack. Let's see if we can go three for three, guys. Let's go ahead and do four to the front. We got ourselves a water energy. Can we get that ice, bro? Can we get that ice? We got a Glossifer. Snom. Coughing. Cacnea. And we have a Tropius followed by professor's research so that right there officially ruined the streak but we still got our final pack of destiny featuring a dragapult y'all let's see what's inside this man let's see what's inside this final pack we still need a lot of cards within the set especially the shiny charizard v max guys so let's see if we can get it we got a more peko we got the coughing, and I'm skipping cards straight to the reverse, revealing that we got nothing. But the final card is none other than a full art beekeeper, everybody. Or bird keeper, I mean. Did I just say bee? That is clearly a starly. But we got ourselves an amazing full art trainer card to go straight into the collection. However, I don't think it should remove the secret rare gold card so we're gonna go ahead and put it right there giving us an actual decent amount of ultras that we got in today's video bro because just look at this take out that hollow we got nothing but straight heat so guys like i said the main focus in today's video is not the pools but basically the fact that you can still find pokemon cards at your local card shop and buy them if they are decently price without further ado guys we got the star of the show right here and i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here you feel me so i'll catch y'all in the next one peace